Hello everyone. How are you? Fine, right? Yes. In this video, we are going to discuss a type of contact force which is frictional force. But before we go in detail about frictional force, first we'll recap what we have learned in the previous video. We have learned that force is a push or a pull. SI unit of force is Newton. There are two types of forces contact force and non-contact force. So here we are going to discuss in detail about one of the contact force that is frictional force. Friction is a force that slows down moving object. All the surfaces whether they are smooth or rough exert friction. The example for smooth surfaces are mirror, eye sheet, metal sheet etc. Rough surfaces mean surfaces like wood, blanket, towel with fur or tar road. There are so many but few of them I have mentioned over here. Now you can ask why these surfaces try to slow down moving objects? What is present in them? To get the answer of this question first you need to observe something. Please observe this. These are different types of materials. Some of them look smooth and some of them rough. I have used normal magnifying glass to see surfaces of these materials in a closer view. As you can see, every material surface have some roughness. Surface like carpet and towel having more roughness whereas surface like linen less. If you look these materials through a microscope, these roughness which is called projections also will be more clear. What we have observed? We have observed that either the surface is smooth or rough, each one of them have a kind of projections. This is called roughness also. In rough surface, these projections are more and in, in smooth surface, these projections are less. But it is there everywhere. So basically, these projections or roughness is responsible for reduction in the speed. So to conclude, we can say that roughness of a surface is responsible for friction force. Next is, what are the effects of friction? Basically, friction has three effects. First is, friction produces heat. We can observe this right now. Bring your both palms together. Rub against each other. Rub it. Yes, and then bring it here. Oh, it's hot. So, it proves that friction produces heat. Second effect is, friction causes wear and tear. That you can observe in your school shoes. Third effect is, Friction can stop or slow down moving objects. Third effect of friction we can understand through this example. All of you know about football, right? Yes. In this game, when we kick the ball, it goes certain distance and then either slows down or stop. You know why? Why ball either slows down or stop? What is the reason? The reason is the ground exert friction force. The roughness of the ground is responsible for the friction force which is responsible for the slowdown or stopping of the ball. Friction force helps us in walking, running, writing, playing etc. Because in all these works friction controls our movement and avoid slipping. But there are some places where we do not need friction like in your bicycle chain, in machines etc. Because these things should run without friction. We can increase friction by making surface rough and we can decrease friction by making surface smooth. Smoothing of surface with the help of oil is known as lubrication. After watching this video, you should be able to answer these questions. First, what is friction? Second, what causes friction? 
Third, what are the effects of friction? Fourth, what are the advantages and disadvantages of friction? Fifth, how we can increase or decrease friction?